Okay. Sa ticket of leave, okay, makinig. Uh, si Sir Walton Crofton, nasa kanya yung solitary confinement. Tapos, mayroon siyang ticket of leave, which is a conditional release that could be revoked any time before the original sentence expired. So, yung sa kanya, ito, na conditional release kung saan ipapalabas ka, doon ka sa bahay ninyo, pwede ka magtrabaho doon sa mga hindi government offices, for example, as long as sa restriction na binigay, hindi mo ma-violate, so nandun ka sa labas, so pwede siyang ma-revoke if in case na doon sa mga restriction na binigay sa'yo, is uh, nagawa mo, for example, pumunta ka sa L-Refute bars, refute institution, pumunta ka sa mga bahay aliwan, so kapag nalaman nila yan, so i-revoke, -re babalik ka doon sa kulungan, tapos, eh, tatara, ah, tawag dito, ah, uh, eh, It pagpapatuloy mo yung sentence na ibinigay sa iyo hangga't hindi pa siya na-expire. Ang sabi nito, halimbawa 20 years, so ipagpapatuloy mo yung 20 years. If the offender violated any of the established standards, its release is revoked. Essentially, the ticket of leave in which Crofton design is the first form of formal parole which is used to date. So, sa kanya, always remember, yung Crofton kaya Crofton is the first form of formal parole. So, ginagamit hanggang ngayon. The word parole Okay, the word parole has a French origins in the term parole de honor. Parole de honor, which means word of honor. The idea of parole began emerging as Merabu, a French statesman suggested the function of parole into, to, into the court before his death in 1791. So he was the one who suggested the function of parole, si Merabu, Merabu. The beginning of parole was very controversial in the process of correctional system. It is very uh, con controversial because uh, natatakot yung mga tao na baka natatakot yung mga tao na baka umulit yung criminal na yan o kaya balikan yung mga nagpakulong sa kanila. The, Al Captain Alexander Maconoche started its it under the concept of Marx system. Remember, as a result, he was removed as warden as Norfolk Island Australia. Sir Walton Crofton in 1854 continued the vision of Maconoche in the form of Irish ticket of leave. In 1876, parole was first introduced at Elmera Reformatory under Zebulon Brockway. Remember, uh, in 1876, the date, the parole was introduced at Elmera Reformatory. If the question is, when was the parole is uh, introduced? at Elmera Reformatory. The answer is 1876. Kung tanong, when was? Kailan na-introduce sa Elmera, to, Elmera Reformatory? So, ang tanong is 1876. So, kapag tinanong naman is, uh, in 1876, parole was first introduced on what reformatory or what institution under Zebulon Brockway? So, the answer is Elmera Reformatory. So, napaka-tricky nung sagot, tatlo lang, tatlo lang paggagalingan. Although parole was used in the United States in 1846 as a type of conditional release but it was not popularized. So nag nagamit din ito sa United States pero hindi siya nagpopular. Massachusetts Massachusetts was the first stable to officially establish parole service. Remember, Michigan State in 1867 introduces first the inter indeterminate sentencing through the influence of Brockway as he was the superintendent of Detroit House of Correction. Remember, uh, Zebulon Brockway is a superintendent of Detroit House of Correction. Okay, parole is consist of the super suspension of the sentence of a convict after having served the minimum. Kasabi natin kanya, serve part, minimum. So, yan yung mga uh, definition ng parole. Imposed without the granting of a pardon. So, madidistinguish natin ang pagkakaiba ng parole, provision, at saka pardon. Prescribing the terms upon which the sentence shall be suspended. Suspended. It's okay. Parole restores gradual freedom to the prisoner and bridges the gap between the highly controlled and the regimented prison life to the free life in the community. So, maganda yung pamamalakad sa parole because nabibigyan ang pagkakataon ng tao na magbago tapos buhay na halimbawa yung kanyang mga pamilya, tapos ayusin o kaya buuin yung buhay na gusto niyang marating, for example. This conditional release is subject with condition are violated by the parolee 
Ang tawag doon, remember, ang tawag sa tao, sa prisoner na uh, undergoing parole is a parole. Okay. He will be brought back to the prison to serve its remaining term kapag meron siyang mga violation. Parole is being conducted through the process of casework and the Ritz Classification Committee. The committee considers all record materials as to the service of the convict. It's conduct a relationship with the staff and other convicts. So yan, meron tayong ginagawang uh, casework, uh, casework, casework for example, kung, kung paano natin makukonsider na siya ay pwedeng mag-grant sa parole. So yan, nandun yung ka, lahat ng lahat ng uh, records niya during the tenure during sa pagpasok pa lang niya sa kulungan hindi siya na hindi siya nakikisalamuha halimbawa sa mga basagulero hindi siya nakakagawa ng bad behavior sa loob ng kulungan parole is the suspension of the sentence of a prisoner bakit natin uh, binabanggit ito lahat bakit dahil gusto nating gusto kong ma-aware kayo dun sa mga definition by the parole board after serving the minimum penalty imposed by the court subject to certain conditions in case of violation of any of the condition the parolee will be rearrested rearrested and committed to serve the portion of the original penalty so we have executive order number 292 of 1987 administrative code of the philippines okay we have board of pardons and parole so ito executive order 292 of 1987 bpp Section 17, meron tayong Board of Pardons and Parole. The Board of Pardons and Parole shall continue to discharge the powers and functions as provided in existing law and such additional functions as may be provided by law. So dito, sila yung, uh, nandito yung committee kung saan nagde-decide kung ang tao o ang prisoner is uh, pwede bang uh, i-grant nila o bibigyan ng pagkakataon na makalabas ng Penal institution or correctional facilities. Section 18. Board composition. So, ang anong meron sa board composition ng board of pardons and parole? Remember this one, ha? The board shall be composed of the secretary as the chairman. Secretary as the chairman. And six members consisting of the administrator of the parole and provision administration are as ex officio member. Meron tayong secretary, anim na members consisting ng administrator of the parole and provision administration as ex officio member. Pangalawa, a sociologist. Number two, a clergyman. Number three, and number four is an educator, a person with training and experience in correction work and a member of the Philippine Bar, provided that one of them is a woman. So, lahat ng yan dyan, Ano discuss na natin dati, lahat na nandyan, sa anim na yan na members, so dapat mayroong isa dyan na babae. Ngayon, take note that all penal institutions in the Philippines, for example, meron tayong New Believe Prison, so meron silang Board of Pardons and Parole. Hindi po pwedeng uh, throughout the uh, nation, uh, throughout, the, throughout the country, halimbawa, isa lang yung Board of Pardons and Parole. Hindi po pwede dahil may hirapan sila. Although mayroon silang main office. And a member of the Philippine Bar, meron silang attorney, provided that one of them is a woman. The members of the board shall be appointed by the president. Okay, appointed by the president upon the recommendation of the secretary and shall hold for a term of six years without prejudice to reappointment. So, uh, although itong main office, main office, is ito yung composition. So, sa baba, meron silang mga sub-offices kung saan yun yung nag- uh, nag-endorse kung sino-sino halimbawa yung palalabasin uh, subject for grants uh, subject for parole for example so ibibigay sa kanila so sila na yung mag-decide if ever ang sabi ko kanina I'm sorry for the uh, nakakalito ang sabi ko kanina uh, don't uh, don't mind the first explanation sa taas mayroong main office sa baba meron naman silang mga uh, Sub offices, for example. In case of vacancy by reason of death, if ever sa board of composition merong vacancy dahil namatay ang isa, incapacity, resignation, or removal of any of the board members, 
The secretary shall have the authority to designate a temporary member processing the qualification of his predecessor and to serve out his unexpired term or until the president shall have appointed a regular member to fill the vacancy. Remember, ang nag-appoint sa kanila is the president. Uh, appointed by the president with the, uh, with, the, with the recommendation of the secretary. Section 19, executive director and board secretary support staff. Meron tayong uh, executive director, board secretary, support staff. In the performance of his duties as chairman of the board of pardons and parole, the secretary shall be assisted by a staff headed by the executive director, who is, the, who is at the same time the secretary of the board. So, makikita niyo ha? The executive director shall be appointed by the president upon the recommendation of the secretary. So, may, uh, dun, sa, dun sa secretary, meron naman silang executive director. The executive director shall receive a monthly salary of 13,500 pesos. 13,500 pesos, I don't know nowadays kung ano equivalent ng 13,500 pesos. The board secretary shall prepare and keep the minutes of all the board sessions in a book of records kept for the purpose as well as all the resolutions and recommendations of the board and all actions involving parole, pardons, and executive clemency to the president. Bakit? Kinakailangan ni board, pag-aralan ng maayos, baka ang taong yan is uh, peneki lang yung papel, for example, o kaya hindi pa siya fully reformed. Authenticate and or attest all minutes. Yung pinag-usapan, ang sinabing sa minutes, yung pinag-usapan doon sa loob ng board. So, yan yung minutes, resolutions, and recommendation of the board. Prepare and serve all notices of board meetings or session to the member of the board. So, if ba bago mag-conduct ng board, so, kinakailangan uh, uh, mag uh, gumawa ng notices. When you say notices, ito yung ipapa eh, papaalam natin doon sa mga members o kaya kung sino man yung involved doon sa board na merong magaganap na session. Prepare an annual report of all resolutions and recommendations for parole or executive clemency and other reports that the department may require. He shall also perform such other functions that the board may from time assign to him. So, Lahat ng trabaho na gagawin nila. So, executive clemency, matatakal din natin yan. Section 20. The board shall meet regularly every week. Okay, regularly the term. Every week or as the board may direct or upon call by the chairman secretary. The member shall act only as a board. And every decision of the majority shall be valid as an act of the board. Provided that the board may direct a board member to prepare and submit a report involving any application for parole or pardon or any request for executive clemency for appropriate action by the board. So, lahat na mga application na uh, itinataas, halimbawa, isinasubmit sa kanila, itinataas, isinasubmit sa kanila, so, kinakailangan merong, uh, merong preparation para uh, magawa ng uh, notices. Okay. So, 